Now then, <clears throat> anyone that knows me will know that I'm absolutely potty about dogs. Yes. And it's an absolute disaster for me to go anywhere near such places as Battersea Dogs Home <laughs> for fear of coming home with a car full of wastes and strays, you see. So this unfortunate tendency has led me ra into rather a lot of trouble in the past, not least with my relationships <laughs> with various partners who hadn't anticipated coming home to yet another four-legged addition to the family with no warning whatsoever. Uh, so <laughs> my love of dogs started at a very early age when my mother insisted that I share my playpen with our pet poodle, Suki. And I just happened to have evidence of this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there we are. Yeah, thank you. Yes, more of that. Yeah, haven't changed a bit, I know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Cute. Leave it there. Um, yes, so <laughs> it's all her fault, you see. I didn't stand a chance, did I, really? Anyway, consequently, I now have six dogs and a cat. Uh, six dogs. My <laughs> new cat. Um, my mother left me three uh, when she died, and I had my own, and I've just taken on another one. So I've got uh, two York... Oh, God, I can never remember. Two Yorkshire Terriers, two Jack Russells, a Hungarian Vigilant, and a Poodle who's a kleptomaniac steals everything. Uh, so I'm fairly exhausted most of the time, as you can imagine. Anyway, I found this, this quirky little song. Oh, I'll leave that. I don't need to sit down, for goodness sake. Um, a quirky little song about... Oh, it describes exactly what happened when I went to collect my first dog from Bassey Dogs Home many years ago. And she ended up being my best friend. Her name was Pepper. Found me a dog at the pound Six months old, silly and sad And she wiggled and piddled and licked me all over But was too scared to get in my car So I looked at her in just that once Cause I knew life had told her a lie And she could take charge of the world she was born to with enough love, I knew she would try. She was scared to come into the kitchen, wouldn't eat unless I left the room. And with any loud noise, she went flat like a pancake. And she ate all my favorite shoes. But I never not once raised my voice. I just bought her her own things to chew and taught her to come He'll sit, stay, lie down, fetch, and to shake hands on how do you do? Now my car was a permanent blanket of dog hair, and she's become queen of the neighborhood park. And wherever we go, she acts like a magnet, a stranger's approach to make friends and remark. On the dog that I found at the pound, who's fully in charge of her world and holds her on ground when I crash around the kitchen and eats while I stand by her bowl and they praise me for saving her life saying, oh, what a lucky dog she but when I think of all I have learned about loving it was Pepper, in fact, who saved me.